Jessica Craven. I'm a Master Gardener with my certification in Permaculture Design. We're going to talk about how to divide a large white hydrangea. What you want to do is you want to basically start to dig a hole around the hydrangea. And I'm making the assumption that your large white hydrangea is in the ground. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start your hole to dig it much wider than where the branches are. And as you start to dig down, if you run into any of the roots, you need to slow down, back up, and start an even wider dig. And then you want to dig to the bottom where you have basically the end of the root ball because you don't want to cut off any of the small roots that are um, helping support the hydrangea with nutrients, bringing it water and other nutrients to the plant. Now, if your plant is so large, you can't bring it out of the ground. Say, for example, it's a good solid four feet tall, four feet wide. What you want to do is, as you've dug that hole around the perimeter, is on the edge of it, is you want to, with a very sharp shovel or knife, cut those roots to separate the new plant from the existing plant. What I re would recommend is that you don't cut off any type of plant from the main plant that can't fit all those roots into a one gallon size planting container. You might even want to do it smaller, say a quart size container. Now you don't have to divide a, a very large four foot hydrangea. You can actually divide a smaller plant. And what this does by dividing the plant is it enables you to, to plant the same plant next to it or in another part of your yard or share with a friend without having to purchase another plant. When you want to plant the new plant, you need to make certain that you deep dig a hole just as deep as that original plant's roots went down. And you want to try and dig the hole about three times as wide as you, you, it's width. So if it's a gallon sized container that's, you know, maybe eight inches in diameter, you want to be three times that wide and you want to taper it down. And as you add in soil, you want to mix in the existing soil you have, you want to mix in some compost to give it some additional nutrients. And then when you replant it, you want to uh, tap mulch around the top to allow the water to stay in and definitely deep root water that new hydrangea as well as the existing hydrangea. Now it's important the area in the existing hydrangea, you want to make certain that you add some soil back so that you don't have just an empty crevice. I hope this gives you some tips in terms of how to divide or separate your large white hydrangea.